This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Well, we're not finished yet. We're going to uh, run through a few more matches here. We'll try to get through the end of March of 85, and then we'll pick it up uh, next week. Uh, you're going to be working Manny Fernandez in Dorton Arena on March 20th. On March 23rd, uh, you're back working uh, TV taping at the Charlotte Coliseum. This is for NWA Worldwide. You pick up a win over Manny Fernandez here. It'd be a live event three days later in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, and Manny Fernandez would beat you by DQ there. You'd run Altoona, Pennsylvania, get off in Vince McMahon's backyard here on March 27th. You beat Sam Houston on March 28th. You're in Pittsburgh. Uh, we've got uh, buzz Tyler teaming with Manny Fernandez and pistol Pez Watley to take on Arn Anderson, buddy Landell and John Tatum. I'll get plenty of time, 23 minutes, but ultimately the good guys prevail and you dastardly heels live to fight another day. I guess it's a, a double shot because we've got a show, um, two separate shows here with uh, similar lineups all in Philadelphia. Uh, and then uh, we'll round out the month on the 29th and 30th with shows in Richmond, Virginia, and then a TV taping in the WTBS studios. I'll come back to that. The Richmond show was a no contest against Manny Fernandez on March 29th, but we round out March with a television taping. It's Arn and Ole Anderson taking on Greg Stone and Sam Houston on WTBS. You've been on this channel before, but it was his enhancement talent. Now you're at Anderson teaming with Ole in the TBS studios. Kind of a cool deal. Total change in positioning. Went from the uh, star maker to the star. And uh, Ole and I were skipping around, and um, they were booking us in all these towns. You know, I was pretty much working in some capacity with Manny and a partner, you know, everywhere. But it was, you know, we had good matches, very solid, very solid matches. Uh, Manny was a very solid worker and, and a very good worker. Um, so, yeah, we would get that would be just a get over match, and we're working our way towards April now. Yeah, that night, you know, as with all TV tapings, you would work two shows there. Uh, you would wrestle uh, Manny Fernandez, but then that night, the big show, because that was always a, a matinee show, the TV taping, uh, that's going to be at the Greensboro Coliseum, and you're going to be working with Manny Fernandez again. So, right away, they've got you programmed in a big way with Manny Fernandez. It starts as a six man tag affair, or I guess you mentioned. He came out and tried to make the save when he broke that feller's arm. And well, that didn't go his way, but now you're kind of off to the races with Manny as we uh, wind down the month of March and we cruise on in April. Yeah. We had a lot of 15, 20 minute matches. Uh, very solid. And uh, I enjoyed it very much. And Manny was used well with, you know, Jim Crocker promotions at that time. I think previously he had been, world tag team champions with him and dusty at some point. So he was a top guy. Hey, Hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell. So you get a notice anytime we upload some new content and go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.